Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Market Misfits. Welcome to a new week. We're going to be covering XRP ETF services on Fidelity Investments Platform. So previously, we went over the differences between ETF and ETP. Basically, just to recap real quick, an ETP is essentially just um, a broader term of an ETF, or uh, not term, but an instrument that has a broader, that covers a broader base of um, use cases. So then at ETF, so the fact that this is, has surfaced on Fidelity investment platform, it seems like pretty serious stuff, not trying to get hyped up. Bitcoin looks like BlackRock is also expecting the ETF to be approved by Wednesday. So we saw Bitcoin broke break out. We're going to take a look at the Bitcoin chart and we're going to take a look at the XRP chart. Let's get into the article and then we'll take a look at the price action. So an XRP ETP from 21 shares has surfaced on Asset Manager Fidelity Investments web-based platform, sparking mixed reactions and controversy in the XRP community. So there's also been a lot of really strange, um, random, large amounts of XRP being moved around, some by the previous co one of the previous co-founders that created XLM. So we'll cover that on another one, but let's get into this article. Notably, the official X account of the Google of the Good Morning Crypto podcast shared a screenshot of the XRP ETP displayed on Fidelity Investments digital platform. The account touted it as a recent development, insinuating that Fidelity might have unveiled an XRP ETP. However, this is not completely accurate. Growing demand for XRP ETF. The commentary suggests that 2024. 2024 could be a pivotal year for XRP with investment from great with investment firm Grayscale and asset manager Fidelity both offering XRP products. So we covered this on a previous just um, yesterday, I believe it was that or the day before yesterday that Grayscale had relisted XRP. So both offering XRP products. Recall that Grayscale's recent so recently re-added XRP to its Grayscale Digital Large Cap GDLC fund. The decision came on the back of the July 2023 ruling from Judge Annalisa Torres declaring XRP a non-security. Grayscale had removed XRP, but the product in January from the product in January 2020 amid the legal battle surrounding its security status. The recent reintroduction sparked speculation of an imminent XRP ETF from the firm. That's pretty strong words there. If you ask me, there's something about the sediment in the market right now that's kind of awkward and it's personally just been feeling this way for the past uh, couple of weeks, honestly. And s since B Bitcoin first broke out and just sat there and then dumped, kind of suspected, that, not suspected, but just felt like something was off, but um, like something's going to happen. You know what that is, we're just going to have to wait and see. Interesting, interestingly, amid the sustained discussion around spot Bitcoin ETFs, XRP proponents have continued to push for an XRP ETF, citing the asset's unique legal clarity in the United States. So it just makes a lot more sense that an XRP ETF would come out before, say, you know, an Ethereum ETF because of that, that legal clarity. But we, and then keep this in mind too, we have legal, we have legal clarity for, we have legal clarity for XRP for retail, the institutional um, purchases are still not 100% resolved. So got to keep that in mind. Pur purported ETP from Fidelity has sparked a wave of elation among these proponents, but how accurate is this discovery? Facts about the XRP ETP. An investigation carried out by the Crypto Basic confirms that Fidelity has not really launched an XRP ETP. Okay, so... There's that for the for the uninitiated or the uninitiated in ETP. It's a broader category that includes ETFs. So we just talked about this exchange traded funds and other similar instruments like exchange traded notes, ETNs. Simply put, all ETFs are ETPs, but not, not all ETPs are ETFs. A simpler search, a simple search on Fidelity shows that the product displayed on the asset manager platform is an XRP ETP launched by 
a Moon AG, a Swiss based financial institution. Interesting. So here we go. There it is. A, a Moon launched the XRP ETP ticker AXRP in April 2019 to trade on a public Swiss ex, on, on public Swiss exchanges like the Six Swiss Exchange. A year later, a Moon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. A Moon made a rebrand of its ETP investment line to bear the brand 21 shares. As a result, all e a Moon ETPs include the XRP ETP. AXR, AXRP started bearing the brand name 21 shares. The Amun XRP ETP is the same 21 shares XRP ETP spotlighted by the Crypto Basic in a previous report last November. So we all, we covered this when it came out, and that's why we dug a little deeper to see what the differences and everything are were. So now we're it's coming up again. While the product continues to trade, it is not it is not an ETP launched in the U.S. Nor is it a new one, as opposed to circulating claims. Notably, the product is 100% backed by physical XRP and boasts 51 billion or 51 million 315,328. So 51.3 million in assets under management per data from a current fact sheet. So there's that. While not registered in the US, the product's custody service provider is Coinbase, is a Coinbase custody, the choice of most asset managers looking to launch a Bitcoin ETF. Authorized participants also include US headquarters trading firms such as Jane Street. So like I said, this it's this stuff surfaces when they want it to surface and then it'll resurface when they want it to resurface and make it seem what they want it to make it look like. So, you know, with that being said, that might sound kind of vague, but there's a lot of manipulation and that's why we have so much um, speculation, you know, because who knows, who really knows what's the truth, what's the truth, what's really going on. You know, so anyways, we've broken out of this range previously. We had broken out here, but we had shot back down. So now we're back here at this high on XRP was just looking at the three minute time frame in these sessions to see if we could see any, see any spot, any trends basically. But um, so here we are right here. Here we are again. And we got stopped right here again. So this area right here is giving us a little bit of trouble for bulls. So this is a 58 cent mark. You know, remember we were up at like 60, 63 cents. I think it was not too long ago. So, you know, here we are stuck at 58 cents with all this, with all this news, you know, down here on the RSI, let me get rid of this real quick. We have some bearish divergence. Also, Keep in mind, we are looking at the three minute time frame. So we're going to scale out in just a minute, but we were on here and we were looking at this earlier. So actually, it was going to try to uh, trade this range, you know, and this could be a market maker move right here. So we have by market maker, I mean, they'll push the boundaries. They'll push the boundaries past the main resistance or support. And you'll see a price action pattern form. The fact that this is an ascending channel reaching a point that was historically turning away price at 58 cents. And we have bearish divergence and some what seems to be not so clear at all stuff going on in the market. You can easily see this turn into this. So not at all saying that's what's going to happen because I don't have a clue, but looking at confluence, this is looking more bearish at the moment on the three minute. And again, we're on the three minute. So it's not really, it's not really saying a lot, but was just trying to get a, a closer look at this, at this range that we've been in. So anyways, we have the divergence here. So we're going to line up these tops. There you go down right here and especially right 
here. It's all over this channel. It's pretty extreme right here. So, boom, going down. By the way, we're doing this completely backwards, but should have started out on a maybe a, on a bigger time frame, but we'll get there. We had just posted this in the group and, you know, wanted to give the update here on this first and then we'll scale out. So we just ended, we just ended New York. What we, would, what we would need for this to go down and be a sell for us personally need, would need to break this point here, to be honest. And it would need to be pretty strong. So the 5750. So let's go out to, let's get rid of the Marcos right here. And let's get rid of these sessions. I was looking at sessions, just trying to find patterns and trends and things. So let's go out to the daily. Actually, let's go out to the weekly. And actually, let's go to Bitcoin first. So here we are on Bitcoin. Target hit. We, you know, got close to SL here. You know, this totally wiped out a lot of people. We were still in. We got a clear break. The reason why I wanted to come back and look at Bitcoin before we go further in XRP is because we want to get an idea of the market sediment. So the overall sediment, you know, Bitcoin is going to be more of a tell-all than just looking at the XRP chart in general. So there's a this is a one hour fair value gap, quite massive. So looking for a pullback. But, you know, if the market means business, then we could see it continue up and just straight up leave this stuff behind. You know, we, we're looking at maybe a couple of days until BlackRock is expecting for the ETF to be approved. Now, you got to realize that this stuff, and we talk about this quite a bit, and you can't stress it enough, we're not a paranoid, um, what do you call it, conspiracy theorists. This is straight up facts. They they release stuff, banks, BlackRock especially, they own the news. So why are, why would they go and tell ever the whole world what what the deal is? They don't. They do not have our best interests at heart they don't so why would they why would they tell us this and anyways so i think a lot of people know that too so you know for them to come out and tell the truth could get everyone thinking bearish or a lot of people thinking bearish and it actually be the real deal like the boy cried wolf kind of deal you know we'll have to wait and see but looking at these imbalances nonetheless and a possible retracement back down to the 45 K mark or maybe back down to this support where we broke this resistance at 44 near 44 and a half K on Bitcoin. So short term is looking like we have a and a it's kind of looks like an ascending channel right here. We'll go to a smaller time frame in a second and look at it real quick, then we'll get on to XRP. But this is an ascending channel. So let's take a look at the larger time frame here. Get rid of all this. Move. Let's take a look at the weekly. So if you remember, we were down quite a bit, and now we are straight. We are going straight up. We are also right here at this resistance. So this is we are at a critical point because of not just this level, but because there's so much weird sediment the market sediment the mood of the market is like it's just strange i think a lot of people are um and it's not just me or us but a lot of people are kind of probably scratching their heads right now no i'm not the only one you know what do you what do you what do you do there's going to be a big move it seems like but which direction is it going to go and why was the news put out like this you know that sends off red flags for me but you know, again, don't buy or sell anything just because we're talking about it here. We're just speculating, you know, so we're covering both scenarios. We've already covered this 30K scenario several times. You know, what happens if all this is um, all this is not accurate or what happens if the ETF 
gets denied, you know, boom, going to be looking to these levels, this level, this level, and maybe even below to wipe out some liquidity. And I still have my eye right down here too at around the 18, 18 and a half K mark. Cause we never came back and retraced and hit this area. This is, you know, an area after you create a double bottom and we break out price nearly always comes back to this, but this time it did not. And we just took up, took off out of nowhere and all these banking crises and everything were happening here. FTX crashing, you know, all this stuff was happening. And then we got market just freaking went up. So, and you know, that was bad news, right? When this stuff started happening. So what's that? That's why when we're seeing all this good news, kind of thinking like, well, why in the heck are they telling us all this if this is the truth? So if we get a big bullish breakout like this in the middle of turmoil, then what's going to happen in this euphoria? Are we actually going to play out? Is everything going to get passed and we're just going to skyrocket up out of here? You know, only time will tell, but drop a comment and let us know what you think. Be good to get some insight from, from y'all. So we're looking at, believe it or not, getting closer mm -hmm. to the all-time high on Bitcoin. We're going to take a look at this, give a quick measurement, and then we will get on to XRP chart. So we are about 50% away from the all-time high for Bitcoin. Right now, sediment, right now, we're at a resistance and we are on a smaller time frame forming what seems to be a rising channel. Maybe we're going to go back and fill this up. So maybe short term bearish, assuming everything is accurate in the news and then go up. So as Wednesday gets closer, let's take a look at the XRP chart now. With that being said, now XRP has its own stuff that's going on. So the ETP resurfacing, it just, you know, the the previous co-founder of XRP that started XLM started withdrawing like a maniac from an empty wallet. So whenever they got their, whenever they got their 20, I think it was 20 billion shares as, um, as co-creators, they were awarded that by the firm. And so they were not allowed to sell it all off at once because they didn't want to impact the market in a negative way. So they put restraints on it to where they could only withdraw. I forget exactly how much, but it was only so much per year. So, you know, they're saying that they think the guy had an auto, like a, like a bot put on his, on that, address and the bot just continued to the bot just continued to you know continue to try to make withdrawals even though they weren't there weren't any withdrawals there or there wasn't anything to withdraw there so you know again weird weird but uh as far as like trading and everything goes you don't get too caught up in like uh subjective especially if you're a passive technical day trader you don't go and speculate in a whole lot on uh crazy um like type uh what do you call it like conspiracies and stuff like that or whims you know you work a mathematical formula passively and so with that being said the reason why we're talking about this is for you know for you who are maybe holding long term or just for education recreational purposes also previous week on xrp we had a bearish break right here so we were looking at this triangle on xrp like this and we got boom straight up dropout let's go to the daily so we had looked at this previously and we noticed this awfully large wick right here we have 23 minutes until the daily close so this could be a this could end up a strong bearish engulfing. And if so, then it's looking like that this could be just this this was just done to ramp up. So we had our false breakout here, came out, retested the inside of the trend, dropped, and then we had this channel right here. This descending channel, and here we are. Are we going to go 
up and up and up. You know, maybe so. We're just kind of have to wait and see here. Let's go to the four hour time frame and take a closer look. Let's get rid of this real quick. So four hour candle has set. We got a break of structure. Our targets had been hit. We had a one signal with a different stop loss that we just threw up there. You know, I'm assuming that that wasn't the original one because ours is still rolling. So, you know, those targets were hit as well. But that one signal, if you put it in on your demo, then, you know, then you got wiped out on that one. Live to trade another day. So looking at the four hour here, just going to try to focus on what's happening. Okay, we know there's a big symmetrical triangle up here. Just going to look at this most recent price action and see what's happening here. So we were in this descending channel like this. We had bullish divergence. We covered this. Just want to just go over it again. And we had this bullish divergence right here. And so it didn't actually play out. We had a false breakout here, came back down, smacked down. Then we now this is a strong breakout right here on the four hour. There's barely any, there's barely any wick on the top right here and there is hardly any wick on the bottom let's go to the one hour so this is looking like who knows if we get a if we get a bearish engulfing then we might come down but we don't have the imbalances here on xrp like we do on bitcoin let's go to 15 mm -hmm. minute so it could be make or break time here on the rsi we are not really showing any divergence or anything like that, but we do have a cross down here and we are in oversold territory or just leaving oversold territory. So, you know, we'll be looking for a break of 58 cents, nearly the same on the hour on XRP. We got a lot of news to cover this week, you guys. So make sure and stay tuned. We're going to be keeping everybody up to date the best that we can. Just um, keep in mind that your emotions, if you're day trading or even if you're holding, you know, and you just always got to keep your emotions in check and you, and you can't let all the exciting news get you into a state of euphoria. So, but anyways, you guys, that's going to do it for this one. We're going to wait and see what happens here with XRP and with Bitcoin. We'll be keeping everyone up to date inside of the market misfits. If you want to get into the market misfits just check out underneath the video or in the description on youtube for the link to get live updates we're going to be posting we're going to be posting screenshots with you know information of what's happening more regularly and faster inside of that group so anyways you guys that's going to do it for now if you have any questions at all just drop a comment or send a message and we will see y'all on the next one see ya